When I really felt we were on to something is when I started uh, rehearsing and uh, it all started coming together. In fact, there wasn't a kind of one moment, you know, it was like a slow process, partly depressing, partly exciting, uh, and then suddenly you've got the critical mass and it seems that this film's going to be working. But then when you shoot it, you know, the, the, you know, halfway through the shoot, you think, God, this is just such nonsense, you know, <laughs> how is this ever going to work? So I was always looking out for these kind of love stories with two equally strong characters who are kind of mismatched and, uh, and who one is up once and the other one, one down and then the other way around and the relationship looked good in Poland and suddenly abroad it looks completely different, you know. I love that kind of situation. I've been in it myself. That's, that story was kind of growing in me and, you know, I kind of had, I knew I had to make it one day, yeah. But after Ida, I sort of felt this is, the, this is the right time. This is the right time to make another Polish black and white film that possibly nobody's going to watch, but, but, it's, uh, but I could kind of see how, how to do it and, and somehow mentally I was equipped and technically as, as well. And we have a love story like this, which is so full of, uh, paradoxes and twists and two strong characters never giving way, it, you know, suddenly it has so much more than just a love story, you know, it just, you know, it's about a lot of different things. It, what surprised me is how many young people got it, you know, although you, you kind of think you might need a bit of historical background, but actually you don't, you cannot get it via the emotional journey.